Hola amigos, yo soy Dr. Lebrun. Hello friends, I'm Dr. Lebrun. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at some vocabulary used in insurance office. All right, vamos a empezar. All right, so we're gonna be taking a look at a variety of different vocabulary terms. It can be describing cars, houses, damage. At the end, we'll use some phrases that you might encounter in an insurance agency. And then also I'll put a link to a Quizlet in the comment section below where you can study the vocabulary for free with online flashcards. All right, vamos a empezar. El seguro, the insurance. El agente, la agente, the agent. So el is for masculine and la is for feminine. El secretario, la secretaria, the secretary. Again, the first one is for a male and the second one is for a female. La oficina, the office. La agencia, the agency. La policía, the policy. Comprensivo, comprehensive. La franquicia, the duct deductible. And we'll explain a little bit more in depth what that is at the end of the video. Seguro para arrendatarios, insurance for renters. La propiedad, the property. La casa, the house. El apartamento, the apartment. El carro, the car. La motocicleta, the motorcycle. El remolque, the trailer. La auto caravana, the camper. La granja, the farm. El negocio, the business. La cosecha, the crop. La tierra, the land. El contrato, the contract. La responsabilidad civil, the liability, or it translates as the civil responsibility. El multi peligro, the multi peril. Un descuento, a discount. Un conductor seguro, a safe driver, male. Una conductora segura, a safe driver, female. Suplementario, supplemental. La compensación del obrero, the workman compensation, or the compensation of the worker. El tipo del carro, the type of car. El modelo del carro the car model or the model of the car. All right, el año, the year. 1990, 1990 or 1990. 2002, 2000. 2010, 2010. 2020, 2020. So if you need some practice with the numbers, I'll put a link in the comment section and you can click on that to study the numbers a little bit more in depth. El capo, the hood. Now let's take a look at some more car parts a little bit more in depth. El parabrisas, the windshield. El lado del conductor, the driver's side. El lado del pasajero, the passenger side. Delante front, atrás back. El maletero, the trunk. La puerta, the door. La ventana, the window. El guarda barros, the fender. El parachoques, the bumper. El daño, the damage. El robo, the theft. All right, let's take a look at some other items that might damage a vehicle or a house. El fuego, the fire. El granizo, the hail. La inundación, the flood. El accidente, the accident. Un rayón, a scratch. Una abolladura, a dent. El choque, the crash. El vandalismo, the vandalism. 
la raja, the crack, el techo, the roof, el garaje, the garage. All right, let's take a look at some other parts of the house. La cocina, the kitchen. El lavadero, the laundry room. La sala de servicio, the utility room or the service room. El dormitorio, the bedroom. La sala de estar, the living room. El sótano, the basement. All right, here's some phrases that you might encounter in an insurance agency office. Bienvenido, welcome. So this is if you're talking to one male. Uh, if you're talking to a group of people, males and males, or one male, one female, um, then make that plural bienvenidos. If you're talking to one female, then have that word end in an A. You can say bienvenida. And if you're talking to two females or a group of females, then have that word end in AS, bienvenidas. So. English, we just have welcome, but there's kind of four small concepts to be aware of in Spanish to use it properly. All right, so you might introduce yourself with hola, yo soy blank. Fill in your name. Hello, I am. So be sure to introduce yourself. Como se llama usted? What's your name? So usted is a polite way to say you. You might know that tú is another way to say you, um, but that's just a regular way, and usted is more formal that you'd want to use with a customer. And it doesn't translate perfectly between the languages. It's more translating as how do you call yourself? All right, mucho gusto, nice to meet you, or much pleasure. And como puedo servirle, how can I help you? All right, some people might have a question about what the deductible is. So here's the definition in Spanish and in English. And again, deductible is franquicia. La franquicia es la cantidad de dinero que usted tiene que pagar antes de que la compañía de seguro empiece a pagar por una reclamación. So a deductible is the amount of money that you have to pay before the insurance company begins to pay for a claim. All right, and a couple more phrases that you might encounter in the insurance agency office. Si, estamos abiertos. Yes, we are open. ¿Quiere usted hacer una cita para un presupuesto? Would you like to make an appointment for a quote? All right, thanks for watching, folks, and we'll see you on the next video. Gracias por ver, and thanks for watching again. Hasta pronto. Ciao.